Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org and welcome to a PHP video tutorial for the new Boston. Now after we've installed PHP and perhaps later on in our um, PHP development, we may need to take a detailed look at everything within our PHP installation. So for example, you might go on later to look at the GD library. So the GD library is used to generate images um, using a, its command set, so it's, a, it's an addition to PHP, it may not be included, well I know it's not included with the original PHP installation. So for example, if someone was to say to you, do you have curl installed, or do you have GHD image installed, and you know what these are, and there's different, different uh, libraries for PHP, but you needed to find a way to quickly check everything in your PHP installation and just find general information about your PHP uh, version for example someone might ask you or you might need to find out which PHP version you're using because obviously different features of PHP uh, work with different versions um, you may have a um, an older version of PHP which then later features aren't available so you always want to check that you updated the latest PHP version and you can check this also uh, using this PHP info function that we're going to be talking about so to call the function is uh, relatively simple um, it's just um, within your PHP tags remember we uh, create our PHP tags like this we can do PHP and then info and then two brackets. So this is the standard notation for calling a function. You can see that my text editor hasn't turned it blue like it normally would with other, um, other language constructs. For example, echo, you can see is automatically turned blue. This is because it's a language construct within PHP. It's something that's built in uh, and enables something to happen when we, uh, when we run it. So PHP info, we're just calling a function because you, you can see that it's remained black. Just like when we type something that doesn't exist, for example, um, it's also black. So you need to watch out for this. Uh, this means that we're calling a function. So we're calling the function php sorry, php info, and I've saved this in index.php. So let's go over to our browser and let's refresh um, and see what we get. Okay, so here you can see that we are listing a um, a selection of uh, data about our PHP installation. So we've got PHP version. So uh, very very top in large letters, we've got uh, the version that we're running. And if we go down, we can see different things, uh, things that are enabled, for example, uh, not enabled. Then we can come down and look at specific things like inside the PHP core. So a lot of these will um, will uh, be relative to your PHP.ini file, which we looked at um, previously and we will be looking at later on in the tutorials. So let's just go down and see what information we have. Um, Okay, so we've got all this information. We've got information about Apache as well, the Apache environment, so that's our web server. HTTP headers information. Um, down here about BC Math Calendar and just things like this that we don't have installed currently. Uh, then we can come down to things like um, FTP support, GD. So for example, earlier I mentioned the GD library. You can see that GD support is enabled. We've got the GD version, which is bundled with this uh, package, etc., etc. We've got support for different things. So you can find a lot of information out about your PHP installation by just by calling this function and it generates um, a long list of thing, of details about your uh, PHP installation. Now one thing is really really important you mustn't keep a file with this function on your server. You must not um, have um, this live on a server. Um, in fact even on your local machine if you know that you're not protected against people accessing this this will give people lots of detailed information about your PHP installation now the reason I'm okay to show you is because I'm working on a local machine it's not giving any information that I that you know could harm my uh, my computer through my internet connection but if you're running a say a website and you had this uh, command somewhere uh, on your website that allow people to view they can view all sorts of information about your PHP installation so d despite now seeing it work uh, you also must realize that if you have to do this do it and then quickly delete it so uh, that's just a bit of security advice for you so we've run through the PHP info function which gives out information about your PHP installation um, and obviously you can use this when you need to find out any specifics um, about your PHP package